Climate scientists have set target goals on how fast or how slow the globe should warm over the next several years. Uh, one and a half degrees is a goal they have set. CBS 8's Evan Ronnie tells us why they chose that figure and what happens if we miss it. 2024 is picking up where 2023 left off with ever increasing odds that it will be the new hottest year on record. And the WMO says there's now an 80% likelihood that average global temperatures will temporarily exceed 1.5 degrees Celsius for at least one of the next five years. Back in 2015, the chances of that happening were close to zero, but that still doesn't mean that the Paris target of 1.5 degrees Celsius is dead. It's not yet dead but it's hanging by a thread. The Paris Agreement target refers to long-term temperature increases over decades, not over a month, not over a year, or even over five years. Temporary breaches do not mean that the 1.5 goal is permanently lost but the trend is alarming and cannot be denied. But climate scientists like Zeke still have hope. We need to recognize that 1.5 degrees is a target and not a threshold. You know, it's not like everything is fine at 1.4 degrees and then as soon as we pass 1.5 degrees, catastrophe happens, right? The, the same sort of impacts we're talking about, heat waves, storms, wildfire, uh, extreme precipitation, sea level rise, these all get progressively worse with more warming. Uh, or as we climate scientists like to say these days, every tenth of a degree matters. And so just because we seem to be on track at this point to pass 1.5 degrees in the next decade, doesn't mean we need to stop our efforts to limit warming to 1.6 or 1.7. You know, there still is a lot of room to, to meet the broader Paris Agreement goals of, of limiting warming to well below two degrees. This means that the faster that we act, the better it is for planet Earth. And the good news is the solutions that we need are already on hand. Many of the solutions to climate change are becoming much cheaper. You know, today the cheapest form of new energy in most of the world is solar power, and that wasn't true five years ago. Carbon removal is sort of a, a, a weird case because it doesn't have value outside of, of mitigating climate change. But a lot of the other technologies we're talking about, clean energy, electric vehicles, are really appealing independent of their climate benefits. They, they just, they're cheaper than fossil fuel alternatives. And, and I think the more we can develop technologies that fit that profile, that are just good ideas to do, even if your goal is not just to solve climate change, the more rapidly we are gonna solve this problem. Evan Arani, CBS 8.